Um, because I believe that a currently they have no idea when they're going to be allowed out of their houses. It's going to remain like go back to stable again. But also, the businesses. It's going to, I think it'll probably end up in like an economic depression if they carry on. Well, they say that the, uh, all the governments are putting money to one side so that ever, everybody's off work and they're, they're going to pay sick pay and what have you. Mm. But we don't quite know what's going to happen, do we? No. Currently, because if you think about it, currently everyone in Italy is sat at home. No businesses are open. They're using their electricity. And yet the health organisation are going to count it as sick pay as well. But if all the governments are chipping in, including Italy's, that's the people's taxes. When do your um, exams start? Mine start on the 5th of May. Now, uh, in Ireland today, they're closing the schools. Yeah. They're closing the schools. So, um, of course, nothing like that. We, we haven't had a confirmed uh, uh, case on the Isle of Man, but um, it could get to that over here. You could be taking the, your exams in an empty school. Yeah, I know there is talk of the exam dates being pushed back, um, as in all, all the exam boards are discussing it at the moment. But I'm not sure. I know even, um, oh, I forgot the name then, Boris Johnson said that he won't take the same action as Italy has. Okay. Uh, Holly, why are you going to Istanbul? It's Jasmine. Jasmine, why are you going to <laughs> Istanbul? Um, so I won a competition, uh, part of the Geographical Association, to like, represent the UK in Istanbul where like Tell us more, what was the competition? Um, so I had to write three essays based on um, the conservation and ecosystem of the rainforest so like it's a big topic now with all like the bushfires so especially in Australia um, so I was selected as part of a team of four um, to go off to Istanbul And, and who were the other three? The um, other winners? I don't actually I don't know them like I think two of them live in London. And when do you go to Istanbul? Uh, August. So I've got time to prepare. But um, when we get there, it's like held at the university. How long is it for? Uh, just a week. And what, what, did, what will you be doing? Um, so there's three exams and a poster session. So 40 other countries go. So like, obviously we get to like socialise and like see like, different cultures. And then there's a few like excursions to like have a look around Istanbul. And so it's a good opportunity. What will you be hoping to do? Have you got a career in mind? Um, so I'm actually going to UCM to do the History and Heritage right. degree. Um, and then after that, I'm hoping to go into like the heritage and tourism industry. On the Isle of Man? Uh, yeah. OK, so I guess you'll be working for Manx National Heritage, perhaps? Yeah, or like even like across, so like the heritage over there, or like more like European history as well. How long have you been good at geography? How long, you know, when did you know you liked geography? <laughs> um, Everybody's saying she's good at geography. <laughs> so, um, probably since year seven, because I would say like, during primary school you don't really like learn about geography as much. But like, obviously when you come to Q2, there's a good geography department. Are the and, teachers like, any good here? Yeah, they're really good. So I know that um, in the past few years it's been like revamped, like new teachers and like better facilities and like better trips as well so we actually like get to see this like the theory behind everything mm. what's your favorite bit about geography um probably like the human side of things so like why people do stuff and like why the world's changing so yeah uh emily uh, you you were saying that this thing about climate change and people having their own opinions it's a philosophical argument you said you um oh well i just it just has um sort of what what I was saying before essentially during the time that we weren't on air is that for most environmental issues you can make the argument that the individual action won't make a meaningful difference so why should you contribute anything but of course and that applies on like an individual level or to a small country like the Isle of Man or even to a larger country like the UK uh, but of course, if everybody said that, then nobody would do anything. So it has to be a collective action, and you can't just excuse yourself because then somebody else could equally just excuse themselves and say, oh, well, that person's doing it. Why should I have to do it? So uh, everybody has that responsibility. It's like a moral obligation, I oh, guess. And how do you think we assume collective responsibility? How do you think people connect with one another? If, if something's individual, 
how does it build momentum so that lots of people start thinking along the same lines? Well, this is why government action is more important than individual actions like riding a bicycle. Because, for example, if the government built um, bicycle lanes and, you know, provided incentives for people to ride bicycles, then more people would ride. Do you ride a bicycle? Do you ride a bicycle? I, I do own a bicycle. I don't because I live in Ramsey, so obviously I couldn't ride a bicycle okay. to school. Who here owns a bike? Ori, how do you ride the bike? No. <laughs> Why have you got a bike? Uh, because I did when I was younger. Uh, just go around the estate, hang out with my friends. If if there were bicycle lanes, would you use? Have you got a car? Yes. Okay. Who, where did you get the car from, Ari? Uh, my mum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, did yeah. you drive to school today? Yeah, I drive most places. Okay. Um, what, how long is your journey from home to school? Uh, 15 minutes. How many miles? Uh, six miles, probably. So, so 12 miles a day you'll yeah, drive yeah, yeah. To, to... Because years ago, and you've heard this many times from older people, people used to walk to school. People used to walk eight miles through blinding snow and you have it really easy by driving to school. Do you feel you don't feel guilty about driving to school? Do you? Um, I'm aware of the impact it has on the environment, but um, there are reasons why I drive to school, and it, it's more a case of, for those reasons, I would get the bus if it was a case of I could, but there are other things. That Do you think public transport's good enough on the island? Um, I believe public transport's good. Uh, it. I think it runs smoothly and they do the best job they probably could, but um, I don't believe the idea that it should be made completely free at the expense of uh, taxpayers <laughs> because, purely because, I feel like cost is reduced, but it's not a great idea to ram a bus full of people mm. and then make everyone late. They just made public transport free in Luxembourg. Uh, it's a country that's not that much bigger than the Isle of Man, <laughs> but absolutely free to use um, public transport. Um, purely because they just said it was getting too congested and they wanted, you know, if you make it free, people would use public transport. Yeah, um, I think that Luxembourg are able to do it purely because their transport system works way better than ours. Uh, European transport systems are known for being way better than uh, the British one, for example, and obviously the Manx one with that. And it's just a case of you can make something free if people are going to want to use it, but people aren't going to want to use a system that doesn't function adequately for everyone Okay, else. you and do you use public transport? Uh, yes, I do. Have you got a car? Uh, yes, I share one with my mum. Okay. Uh, and what do you think about the public transport system on the island? Uh, I think the public transport system's good. I do agree with Ori on that one, but I do also believe that it could be better. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm not, like, uh, in government at the moment. I'm not the one making decisions. Uh, but I believe there are, that there's always an improvement that can be made. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's the Student Climate Network. Student Climate. Do they have any view on public transport? Uh, officially, uh, in our aims, I don't think we have anything at the moment. Uh, but obviously, we're in the climate clo uh, the climate coalition with the uh, Fair Free campaign, who are advocating for free public transport. Uh, ultimately, I think it's an important issue that does need to be addressed somehow. Uh, the the government uh, already subsidises some. I the the last figure I saw was something like seventy five percent of the funding for the uh, bus company. I don't know w specifically, but um, ultimately I don't think I'm informed enough on the issue to, to actually make an argument here. Okay.